Rafi's Rants. Hola, you amazing artist. So today I want to talk about discouragement um, and getting discouraged because a lot of people that are very talented that I know end up wanting to start this art career thing and then immediately things aren't panning out the way that they thought that they would and then they get discouraged. I think a lot of people are under the impression that like once you've been doing this for a long time that then you know you're like walking within your confidence and nothing will discourage you from keeping moving forward. And I'm here to tell you that that's not true. There's a lot of things that Clee and I do uh, from the artwork and sculptures to jewelry to our music to these videos to the books that I've released. Each and every single one of those things was fighting an insecurity, right? So like Clee's been a musician for a long time, but the idea of putting herself out there with the music was terrifying. I've always wanted to write books. The idea of putting books out there was terrifying. I mean, the entire time that we've been doing this thing like all of it has been terrifying putting my artwork out there for the first time was absolutely and completely terrifying the thing that i had to really work through when i started putting my artwork out there was just consistently pushing through the suck for me it was the fact that there was no traction nothing was happening when it came to putting my artwork out there for months, for lots lots and lots of months. Here we are over a decade later, and you would think like, wow, you know, you guys just bought a house, um, you're in a new town, you've got books out there, you've released music, you've sold thousands of works of arts, you have all kinds of awards, you've got uh, newspapers, Da, da 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 the whole nine yards basically the idea is that like we are what you would consider a successful artist but the thing about being an artist is that it's not like um it's not like you just flow in this stream of certainty it, it doesn't work that way basically being an artist when it comes to your finances and even your insecurity is kind of like this it does more of this kind of thing. As you continue in your career as an artist, you're going to have ebbs and flows. You're going to be challenging yourself with new things. You're going to approach new opportunities. You are going to change things up a bit. And every time you do, you are going to run into discouragement. The biggest thing that we run into, I want to say, is that voice in our head. Clean, I call it the stick man. That voice in your head that's like, oh, well, you're going to, oh, nobody cares about you. Oh, nobody, blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing that like when you're just starting out and let's say you're sharing your stuff on social media and like nobody's like even paying attention and you're wondering like, where's my friends and family? Why aren't they paying attention? And I'm here to tell you that in the beginning, uh, especially in the beginning, your friends and family don't care. The fact of the matter is that people have their own lives. Um, you're doing this stupid little art thing. Nobody cares. Now, I'm not saying that that's everybody because, you know, a lot of you guys have contacted me and said, you know, you have very supportive friends and family and they're there to support you and all that stuff. And I'm like, OK, well, good for you, because uh, that's not how it is for a lot of people. The thing that I remember most in the beginning that really helped me along was the fact that I realized that the last thing I needed to focus on was my bank account. Now, Klee and I had gotten our finances down to like next to nil. But even still, focusing on your bank account is not a good measure of success. The other thing that we had to not focus on was on how many people were liking what we were doing or subscribing to our channel. You know, we've been putting videos out forever. And I want to say that for the first four years, like nobody cared. Same thing with all social media, like nobody cared. Nobody was paying attention, but we did get you know, maybe 10 people or 11 people, or sometimes it was 20 people. Sometimes it would spike up uh, for whatever reason, the algorithm would pick it up and we'd have maybe like 150 people. No matter what it was, the amount, it was great, but really that wasn't the reason why we were putting ourselves, all the stuff that we do, putting it out there. The reason we were putting it out there was because I have this thing that I want to do and I'm going to do it, damn it. And I'm not going to let anything stop me, including the fact that maybe nobody's paying attention. Because honestly, the way that people uh, identify success right now is that they 
will say like, well, I'm going to try this thing. And if it works, then it works. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. And like, and then they just give up on the thing. The truth of the matter is that you have two choices. You will either continue doing the thing, no matter what, even like, let's say if you quit your job and then you decide that you have to get a job again and you continue doing the thing or you quit the thing. It's that simple. You continue doing the thing or you quit the thing. And when it comes to art, why would you quit the thing no matter what is going on? So what if you're not getting traction? So what if it's like, it's almost like people think to themselves, uh, nobody cares about this. So I'm not going to do it, even though I love doing this. It, It just doesn't make sense to me. That being said, Like I said earlier, the discouragement doesn't go away. Either you have a track record where you keep going when the shit hits the fan or when, you know, you get discouraged or you give up. And the reason that I'm so passionate about this, you guys, is because I spent the majority of my life giving up, right? I would start my art career and then I would get discouraged and then I would give up. And then years would pass by and then I would start my art career again and then I would get discouraged and then I would give up. And then years would pass by and it was like this never ending cycle where it was like I would start this thing and then I would give up. And I realized about a decade ago that if I started this thing that I was going to have to stick with it no matter what. Because you think to yourself, well, I'm going to give myself three months. Oh, I'm going to give myself a year. I'm going to give myself three years. I know that I'm going to get the comment where it's like, well, that's easy for you to say because you're blah, 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 blah. But the fact of the matter is that like nothing was happening in the beginning. I had to find other reasons why I was going to continue doing what I was doing. As long as I persist, there is no way that I'm going to fail. You're figuring this whole thing out. You got to give yourself the trial and error to be able to do it. Somebody on here had said in one of the comments, and I thought that this was brilliant, is that success is climbing a mountain of failures. And that's basically what this whole thing is. And if you're afraid of failing or you get discouraged, then what ends up happening is you don't even go for it. You got to go for it. You got to go for it. You got to just keep going for it because Why do you create art in the first place? You don't create art in the first place because you want to get successful or you want followers or you want to make a lot of money. Obviously, we want to make money. We want to be able to support ourselves. We want people to pay attention. But that's not the reason that you create the art in the first place. We're so embedded with this way of doing things where like money is the measure of success and all that stuff in the world. And I'm telling you, fuck that. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks about you. You are putting your artwork out there. Be crazy. Be weird. When people are like, why are you doing this? You're not making any money of it. It's because I love it. Because I effing love it. And the reason that I wanted to talk about this is because it's important. Recently, I've been going through that. Um, You know, it's like we moved and everything is different. I haven't really been able to put myself out there and like sell as much art. My books are doing okay. They hit the number one list and then they're not doing as well, please music, you know, some people are listening to one of those things where I'm thinking to myself like, man, I put all this stuff out there. I put all this work into these videos and people thumbs down my videos. Not that that matters because nobody could see that, but like, and there isn't really that many. It's maybe like one person that's like, you think that, man, people are going to pay attention. People are going to um, really, really love this. And then you don't get the response rate that you think that you're going to get and then immediately you want to get discouraged. So the book's not good or maybe the book is good. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about me. You're not any good. Who are you to blah, 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 like all that stuff. Basically, imposter syndrome rolls in, insecurity rolls in. It all rolls in to tell you that why are you even trying to do this? It's not even worth it. Everybody hates your videos. Everybody hates this. Everybody hates that. You gotta just push through and remind yourself why it is that you do what you do. Why am I doing these videos? Why am I doing it? I started doing these videos because I wanted to connect with other creatives in the world, right? I thought to myself like, wow, I'm not just stuck in my one location where I am. There are people out there that maybe this would be a benefit to and I can connect with them because I wish someone would have done this for me. 
I'm not doing it for the person that's thumbing down the video. I'm doing it for all the hundreds of people that are thumbing up the video. You know, like there's like one person or two people or four people out there that are like, I hate your face. And I'm like, I'm not making these videos for you. When it comes to my art, why am I creating my art? I'm not creating my art for other people. I always hear artist mentors out there that are like, you got to keep your audience in mind. You got to keep your whatever in mind. And I get that because that's the chasing the algorithm thing. That's the chasing the the money thing. You want to create what people like so that um, more and more and more people follow you. Well, the problem is that then you're going to find yourself chasing that. You're not even creating artwork or videos or whatever be, uh, because you like to. You're not creating uh, books because you feel that this is important, that you want people to know this information, right? Because it was important to you. You're not creating music because you wrote a song that resonates with you and then you share it with the world. You know, artwork, music, all that stuff. This is all art. It is just a sense of expressing yourself and then putting it out there. That's the second part to expressing yourself, right? Because you could think all you want to think of, but until they become words, you're not putting it out there. And it's the same thing with art, music, or whatever it is. It's putting it out there. The putting it out there part is the part that gets all scrambled and mixed up with people's responses. But really, at the end of the day, you're not putting it out there for people's responses. You're putting it out there because you have a voice. It is either artwork or it is books or it is music or it is videos or it is whatever it is. You are putting it out there because you have a voice, not because you want to become Insta famous. You are doing this, whatever it is that you're doing, because you want to. That's important to realize, right? Am I going to do this? Am I going to post to this? Am I going to, you know, do these different things? If you're doing them because you think that they're going to make you famous, then I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But if you're doing them because you're saying, you know what? I have something to say and I want to say it. There's a, there's a big difference between that motivation. So I'm going to leave you with these words. Create what you want to create. Put it out there because you have something to say. That's it, right? Not because you want people to listen to you or you want to be validated, but because you have something to say and then persist through the bullshit. Just persist. Just keep going. Just do this thing. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. If they're like, oh, you're crazy for doing this. Like you're not even just persist. Just keep going and do it because you're a badass. Do it because you don't give an F. Do it because you're going to do this until the day you die. And it doesn't matter what anybody else says. I just, I was having a moment this morning where I was thinking, you know, why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? Like nobody cares, blah, blah, blah. you know, and luckily for me, I, I just want to give a big shout out to the rogues. The rogues put out a video that basically made Clee and I break down into tears where they told us how much what we do means to them. And it just, I mean, just thinking about it makes me want to cry. Thank you to the rogues, because honestly, a lot of times it just feels, it feels, you, you could easily fall into that trap where you feel like, oh man, nothing I do matters. And everything you do matters. Maybe you don't notice it, but everything you do matters. And you don't need that validation. You know, it feels nice. Thank you, rogues. But you got to find a way to just persist without needing the validation. Because if not, you're just chasing validation. You're just chasing likes. No matter what it is, no matter what it is, whether you're posting on social media or you're but doing shows or you do whatever, if you have an experience where it doesn't turn out the way that you want it to turn out and you just give up, then that's it. That's the end of the story. So just persist. Just keep going. Just keep going. Like I said, because you're a badass and the world deserves to know. They deserve to know, but you need to, you need to go through the gauntlet. You need to go through the gauntlet. It, it, there's no other way. There's no other way to do it. You just, I wish I could tell you that there was an easier way, but you do need to go to the gauntlet. And the biggest challenge is what's in here. 
And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, Clee and I are still uh, getting ready for our show. And yeah, other than that, wish us luck at the show. And I freaking adore you guys so much. Thank you. And adios. Toto.